You are a rascal. Sheep fans, Cami is the name, Sheep is the game. It's a beautiful day, it was dry yesterday, dry last night, dry this morning. We are in the last field of our section, Owen's checking the other two fields, and we have one problem. We have a single with a dead lamb, she's standing by it. But, we've had two or three new sets of twins last night. This being one of them, Mum has picked a mucky mucky spot to have these lambs but I mean it would be a good sheltered spot she's literally just fired that one out as I arrived I wonder if I could just move you mum can I move you to a more a more respectable location down here can I just can I take this one quickly no, let me show you let me show you I'm just gonna move them down here oh look there you go there you go now you're on the flat and the wee lambs won't be slipping about getting covered in muck how about that, Mum? What a great wee Mum. Beautiful. So yeah, single to go and get, but as always, the single will stand by its lamb uh, until we get there, so round's done. Very, very successful. Spot's not had a go of anything yet, but we're just gonna go and catch a single. Let's do that now. As always, if you'd like to support the channel, we have pretty much been demonetized. Well, I say pretty much every video bar one has been demonetized. I don't know how that one wasn't demonetized. <laughs> so if you like to support the channel, please do check out the merch store. Oh, we don't even have any of these left, so I don't know why I show you these ones, but we have lots of stuff on there. And we appreciate the support so far, guys. It's been incredible. Let's go get this single. This girl was standing with her lamb as we left her. Until she saw me coming, so... It is going to be a catching job. Has she hung it last night? Yeah, looks like she's probably hung the arm. Just far too big, far too big. I know I keep saying it, but that'll be our thing next year is uh, when the singles are scanned, get them shoved onto a rough bit of grass somewhere because they're just so, so big. These lambs are unbelievable. The weight of that is ridiculous. Right, let's get this sheep now. I should have brought all the dogs actually to make life easier for sport, but now I've been bled on to you guys. Taking my eye off her for a second. No, I can't see her. She'll be shouting somewhere. You are right there. It will be obvious what we're looking for is, well, a couple of things. The main thing being fresh blood at her tail. There she is. She's going back to where the lamb was, which is ideal because it splits it out. The spot will get a hold of her. Let's get into the high box here. Going down the hill. Right. Someone asked about the stress that causes a sheep catch from the dog, and it does, it, there's no doubt it does cause them some stress, but it's a lot less stress than me chasing them for 10 minutes with the bikers or on foot trying to catch them. The dog does it, it's done in 30 seconds. Shh. Noise off. Maybe it just holds on until she stops. That's what seems to be happening. It just holds on to her side and then she just kind of stops. How do you spot? Let her go! I don't want you getting hit in the stones again. God, she's clever sheep, isn't she? That was close. So it is obviously stressful. There's no denying that, but like, if me to chase her about as fit as that, without the dog, I'd be chasing her for ages, it'd be a lot more stress. She'll just be a little bit out of breath. We'll get her in the trailer. I might just sit you guys down. See if we can nab her here without breaking an ankle. She's picked a good spot here, Spot. Why didn't you bring her down earlier? 
See, Meg's good because she goes round the front of them and trips them up. If I had, I should have brought the other dogs with me. I've got to watch, I've got a bad ankle. I've got to be careful. I'll do spot. Spot. Shh. Here, here. Shh, shh. She knows what she's doing. Lass, that is clever. That is very clever. Because you know I've got a bad ankle. You've been watching the sheep game. <laughs> you rascal. You are a rascal. Here, spot, where are you waiting? Here, 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 here. I thought you were in front of her. Don't you get hurt, spot? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't dive or go too fast or I'll go over my ankle. Oh, see, that was cool. That was silly. Don't do that, Cammy. Right, that's enough now. Come on, last, please. We gimme her first time llama, that's how she's hung that massive lamb. Right, come by. Right, she's out here now. That was my fault. I absolutely should have had her there, that was my fault. Don't go breaking my heart. Can I do this forever? Let's reposition the bike. Don't go breaking my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Right, we walk up. Shh. Walk up. I'll do it, I'll do it. Lie down. Good work spot. Okay, let's get our home and get our twin on. So I've just tried a wet adoption with this girl because there was plenty of fluids left on the lamb. And whenever I, so this is a little a pet that we picked up yesterday or we've had for a couple of days, he's quite used to the bottle. So I'd just like to make sure, get him in, get that first soup done and then leave them to try and let them bond and see what happens. She's a wee gimmer. Might work, might not work, we'll see. It has potential. <coughs> now, although a lot of adoptions, excuse me, Radio Scotland this morning, no podcasts. A lot of adoptions do work with very good success rate. Some, some of them don't. And this girl is an example of one that, that doesn't. She's absolutely stone mad. She's been in the hedge oak for two and a half days. And she's still nailing this lamb. So we're going to lift this little lamb out. She'll get a cull tag. Cull. And she'll be down the road. Wild, wild sheep. Out checking the girls we bought, £184, there's a twin, that's one that Lizzie has put jackets on, that's a couple of days old, born a couple of days early that one, but there are some other fresh ones born this morning, oh that doesn't look good, is that one standing over a dead lamb there? No no, the lamb's absolutely fine, green's actually a triplet, that's a triplet lamb in there, one lamb in here, set of twins she's had, these are girls that are, they've been bred, to lamb themselves. Wait a bit this crystal exit. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I love that the, the crystal exit uh, technology that the buckets always land the right way up. It's incredible how they do it. Um, see if that had a, a big handle on it and I get stuck upside down. <laughs> I actually probably would have. What else is going on up here? I was saying these girls have been bred, there's a twin breeding cross with Abermax I think. They've been bred to lamb themselves. No feeding. Well stocked. These are your kind of earliest born lambs. They're quite small, but look, great wee lambs up in suit, up and at it. Where's your mum? Is that your mum? You a triplet. You must be a triplet. Go on, mum. Claim it. Straight in for a suit. Triplets running, triplets running. And we just let them run. We've got a guy shooting the foxes here, we've had four shot. Four foxes shot and 43 bulls have been caught, which is good. So yeah, we're off to a flying start. The other ones of these, we have these split into three batches. So the other two batches, we've had a couple of sets of twins, I think. The only negative we've had with these so far is that the one that lamb first that was triplets that I showed you in the video and I lifted one of them the fox I believe has taken one of the twins I left so she's now only got one 
I should have left her with three in the first place. No sign of the lamb anywhere in the field is, is why I think it's a fox. The fox is getting a bad name. There's a fresh set just born and in for a suit. Fresh out of the wrapper. Aye, if we keep lambing away like that, and we've got a wet day tomorrow, but then we've 10 dry days in a row. 10 in a row. Some boys. Jock, this one's a little quad. Jock, you got the camera to the lamb? Ow! Show the camera to the lamb. You take Lammy's for a walk? Yeah. Oh, Lammy. Oh, Lammy. Thank you, Jock. 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 Thank you, <laughs> Come on, get it. Oh. Run that way. Run that way. Give me that. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, we've been doing the rounds as you've saw. This is the last of our prime lambs. So these lambs are about a year old now, so it's time to get them away, but we're just getting them in while we have a quick minute. There's a few a few yews here, there's some yell yews, yell yews, yell sheep that we never got away, and there's two or three that haven't taken lambs that have popped in this group as well. Now, these are a real mixed bag, they've got real dirty bums now, a bit of spring grass coming through, and we've been feeding them each day. They're just getting the urals that the sheep get. These big yell yews here. She's in fair fettle. Yeah, this one as well. But let, here's the big thing. So in the UK, and, and maybe a lot of the world as well, a lamb is only considered, well this is a hogget, it's only considered a hogget until its teeth, its teeth come up and then it becomes a, a gimmer or a two tooth, depending on where you are in the world. So it could be the difference of this lamb being worth £170 to it being worth £100 just because the teeth are up, but thankfully its teeth aren't up. So it's still got, it's still got its, uh, its milk teeth, its, its lamb teeth. If I pick a bigger, older one, maybe this Suffolk here. Yeah, this is one we bought for £80 store, and we've just seemed to have... Uh, yeah, so see, still the, still the milk teeth, its teeth aren't up yet. That's what we have, I mean, what do we ha have, Lizzie, 13? 11, 13. The crazy thing is that they're so short of lambs just now, this time of year, of course, all, most of last year's hoggets are away, and this year's spring lambs haven't come through. <laughs> they look terrible, but they're probably worth a fortune. So we'll find out, find out on Monday. Jock, where did you get that lamb? <laughs> Dad have it? No. Dad have it? No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Dad help? Can't reach it. No. I'm gonna take the lamb. No, no! Can do it! I can't! I want to eat it! The lamb likes me better now, Jock. Just a little update on our girl. It was funny of her back end last night. Two lambs have had a good soak. She was up on her feet this morning when we did the waters and the feed. More water needed. There she is up on her feet. Looks good. We'll get her out to grass today. Oh, rough terrain, Angus. Oh, jings. Get up. Get up. Make us that way. There we go. Oh. Who's this? You help. You help Angus up? I 
No. He just stealing his juice. Help Angus up, Jock. I always like to give the Collinson team a wee shout out now and again. You ready, Jock? Come in. Here it comes. Oh! Catch it! Catch it! Quick! Catch it! Ah! Stop it! Oh, you're getting buried. Hold okay. on. Hold on. I have all this t-shirt. What day are we on now? Day 13 or 14? I have all this t-shirt. Oh. oh. Have you? In case you're right in the back of the throat, I have all this t-shirt every day. Have you? Bye. That's quite bad. <laughs> Shocking. People worrying how I get on with the washing, but I obviously I don't really do them. I just changed the singlet. I, just, I, change, I wear a singlet underneath, I just changed my singlet. Oh, it's just a t It's not done any work, look. So you go, Fox. Want to support the channel? Check out the merch store. Join the Lamin squad. I need to get a job. I better watch, I'm going to get burnt here. Let's go. By the way, who noticed that, that new hoodie I was wearing? Just testing it out, what do you think? Special for this year. We always like to do a special one each year. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go! Let's go! Quick! Roll it over. Come, come this side, come on. This side. This side. Roll it. Push it. Oh no, she's turned her feet towards you. I'll help you. Come on. Push. 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 She's wild. Hey, right, I'll push that one. She's a bit wild. Don't want you to get a kick in the face and you'll never go near them again. There you go, sheep. There you go, sheep. <laughs> An interesting fact a lot of people might not know about Scotland that, is, that we have in... Oh, Jock switched it on. That we have in common with America is that here in Scotland we also have the right to bear arms. It's just rarely ever warm enough to do it. What a difference the weather makes. And this is why, you know, so many people have been commenting quite rightly, saying like, why the hell are you lambing sheep outside in that weather? This is what the weather should be like in April in Scotland and lambing outside is the best like i am absolutely adamant i'll be lambing outside again next year maybe start a week later but definitely lambing outside it's such a doddle oh apart from this morning when we had that sheep to catch it hung a lamb that is still the issue with lambing outside there's no night checks but what i need to do there that's management management problem more so than uh, more so than you know like the, the outdoor system You'll see with these clins that are now lambing, the ones that I bought, those nice fine wee lambs, narrow heads, popping them out no bother. 
I think putting my textiles that I'm buying, particularly over my gimmers, is maybe making my life a little bit more difficult. But we're going to be phasing all the mules out over the next few years anyway. It's probably a five year project to phase the mules out because some of them are only gimmers, so we'll have them for a little while. But yeah, if we want to do the outdoor thing, we need to get to easier lambing. And, and certainly with my singles next year, they'll be getting thrown on a rough bit of grazing after scanning and just give them some lick buckets and, and rough grass. Yeah, that's what I'm always, you know, as you're going through the season, you're always thinking, where am I going wrong? What have I done wrong? How can we do it better for, for next year? The weather, although the weather is out with your control, you can control the, the type of lambs you're breeding in preparation for the weather and certainly those bear skint lambs come out and achieve at mules although in weather like this they're the most beautiful lambs that I've got they're absolutely incredible when it's wet and they're just dying like a good prime lamb is no use if it dies shortly after birth you'd be better with a plainer uh, narrower prime lamb that, that gets up and thrives so lots to think about but yeah outdoor especially all the gossip is I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world but straw you saw Davy Smith there uh, who loaded up my pickup for me. David reckons straw might just run out next year. Like, there's a real worry in the UK that we're going to run out of straw. Uh, it's especially going to impact uh, a lot of the beef finishing units that finish the cattle on straw. Lambing, well, you know, wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's still, it's still an impact, it's still a big cost to factor in. I mean, it saved me a fortune this year not having straw, not having hay. A lot less pet lambs are just like the triplets run. Definitely doing that again. Far better. Yes, the odd one drops off or Mr. Fox picks it off or you have to lift it as it gets hungry. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a, a far better situation. I'm much happier. I'm still in my first bag of milk powder. Partly it's because we've had so many dead lambs away that we've had to use all the triplets. That is another fact. <laughs> one tub of colostrum, still in the first tub of colostrum. And that's a hundred triplets lamb. Well, probably lamb about 90 of them now. Maybe about 10 left. Beautiful wee set of twins from this Suffolk gear here. Lamb them right on top of some mole hills so they're all dirty. What an evening. That, that town there is called Kilmarnock. Feel free to have a wee look on it if you're in America or anywhere abroad. Canada, Germany. Have a wee look on Google Maps. That's uh, the neighbouring town. Well, what an evening. What a easy day. What a very, very easy day. Not many sheep left in here now. We had one in the hedge oak. What was that? Was that a single that hung a lamb earlier? I think Owen brought her back. So, we have one in the head yoke, but she'll love the lamb. It's, uh, yeah, everything feels quiet and still. Absolute doddle today. Absolute doddle. I'm trying to think what problems we actually had today. Just that single this morning, that one Owen had, and then the, the lamb that didn't have a mum. Not a bad day, not a perfect day, but not a bad day. You can hear little birds here. Oh, it's a magpie. That's not as exciting. That's a wee blackbird though. I think that's a wee blackbird. See it there? You, 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 no chance you can see it. It just chased it. Oh, it must have been chasing the magpie away from its nest. That's why it's going so loud. Must have a wee nest in there. Beautiful wildlife. Anyway, that's us for this one, Sheep Funds. Thanks as always for watching. We'll be back tomorrow for another. It's to be heavy, well, heavyish rain again tomorrow, but you know, a one off day is absolutely fine. We, we can cope with that. We'll see you tomorrow for that. And the Cheevates are due. Not tomorrow, they're due in three days time. The, the excitement is about to really kick off. That's when the real action starts. They're so fat, we'll have hung lambs and stolen lambs every single day. Something to look forward to. See you for the next one.